the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. There you go. Dropped off for a while there that time. Oh man, I think this one is a good one. I tell you, I think it's it was it's, <laughs> it's like whoa, wait a minute. This is a, let me let me look like what I was saying is and those articles I was showing, and let me see if I can bring it back up. Was because 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 I can't bring the article up because it apparently is is uh, copyrighted, and but it uses these sources here. It told me you had to join some type of. Uh, uh, program to to get it, uh, but let me let me. I just want to bring those articles up again, real quick. Okay, and then then I'll tell you what I was talking about. I was saying is on those articles, it was saying is that the believe it or not, in the South, and I think you can write. And let's my friend, we're gonna digest and you break it down with me. Because I was always wondering why it was such a hatred. It said in the, these, based on these sources and these studies, for 300 years, and I guess even more now, because you're talking, it was 19, what, 25 yeah. when that was written. So 400 years. Uh, well, the slavery created a second or, th or fourth class, we got a middle class, you got, well, you got rich, poor, you got some middle class people in between. Uh, middle class was probably real small back then. So what you had was the poor people, whether they're white or black. What's that noise? You hear that song? I don't hear anything. <clears throat> oh, that's me. Got it. <laughs> No problem. It's my phone. <laughs> anyway, they were so you, you remember like the caste system that came from Europe, right? There was a caste system. Uh, you know, whether you if you're the blacksmith, you your father was a blacksmith, you'll be a blacksmith. That that caste system came from Europe. All right. So when it came here, a version of that caste system came to this country where you had the laws of the laws of the class was the slaves that came from Africa. Uh, and, I, and I want to make sure people understand, not only did uh, people of color come from Africa, those came as slaves. A lot of people of color from Europe came here as well. You know that, right? Okay, so with that in mind, you had some that were, there's some of them, some of them came with money. And, and then there was some own slaves and everything else too. Well, anyway, the the caste system version perverted so much into this country was that the slaves were the lords of the lords. Then you had the poor people uh, after that. So you had poor white people, poor people of color. Uh, and then you had the plantation owners in the South. Or maybe it was out this country, but at first it really just took root and was strong in the South as far as the plantations being the engine that was putting wealth into the South. I think we can all agree with that. That's, that's, that was the major, just like middle Georgia now, right? <laughs> what, what is that? Uh, America, uh, military Appreciation Day. Every day is America, uh, a military appreciation day in middle Georgia because it's one of the economic engines uh, in this, in middle Georgia, mm -hmm. where in the South, the, during slavery time, the slavery, the plantations were the economic engine. And like I said, I think that's one of the pieces that caused resentment between the South and the North was this type of labor was at odds with the industrial revolution that was going on in our country, you know, 
and and but the South was so what in I guess you would say they were so embedded with the um, with the institution of slavery, and and, and, and that's what history based say. They were very embedded with that. They had it's almost like what they went all in into slavery, right? <laughs> their, their whole livelihood was into it. So the what 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 was um, what came out of it though was the fact is that many of the uh, people, poor whites, poor people, um, grew resentful to the slaves because they were occupying the skilled and unskilled labor force in the South. Many of the people of the South could not get, poor people, could not get a job um, because jobs weren't as available. And I, I thought that was a trip because the whole purpose, I thought the whole purpose of the slave trade was to bring a workforce into the, into the country to help build the country which made me think it was a lack of resources, right? A lack of labor pool to help well, build this country. It, well, as I'm listening to you talk about this, I'm reflecting back and I can't recall much information about the lives of anyone in the uh -huh. South, except for the plantations and the slaves. Ah, oh, interesting. You yes. don't see any documentation. There are very few. Wow. But when what you do see, okay, uh, poor Caucasians there, their their lives are almost worse. Yeah, than the slaves. That's what that's what's saying. Yeah, yeah. So so they're out there. <laughs> struggling. I mean, I believe mm -hmm. that's where eating possum mm -hmm. and raccoons and all that other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Came into play because that's all they had living out there in these swamps, you know, and in these woods down in the south. Right. And uh trying to exist when there's really no jobs mm. that are available. And if if you had a job, it was because you had a business. Yeah, yeah, like a that spike. supported, yeah, the 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 plantations. Uh huh. You know, like a warehouse, right? Or or somebody who actually bought uh huh the uh the resources that the slaves produced. Yeah. And then those who actually shipped those resources, and, and other than that, there was really no other jobs and then listening to you talk it really really shows when these poor white people would get hired on mm -hmm. to these plantations and how cruel they were yeah yeah to these uh these slaves yeah. it was probably because they resented them it's because they took all the yeah. jobs yeah. And they just existed yeah. because of the plantation. Yeah. So they had food, they had shelter. And so in order for them to feel good about themselves, uh -huh. they would beat and maim and just crucify these people because they hated them with yeah. a hate that was just ungodly. Yeah. I mean, there, it, there's, there's, it there's, yeah. It's, it's just, it's just obvious. And it, the it, great it, thing about this subject is because yeah. no one ever thinks about the South back uh -huh. during slavery time outside of the plantation. That's all you see. And the lifestyle of these Caucasian folks who own these plantations mm, mm. were awesome. Yeah, it, it was. You know, that, and, and 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 so that's all you see. And yeah. so that's probably why 
it's so important for them to keep making these slavery movies to show this one-sided picture yeah yeah of 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 white slave owners versus blacks yeah and that's all you see that's all you, you see. never see <laughs> the 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 poor whites who couldn't read uh -uh. Who, couldn't, who couldn't do nothing nothing and they were just as enslaved as the slave because of the slave exactly because remember a lot of them couldn't couldn't read or write like yeah. you just said so yeah. even when they was voting they put the x they yeah. that. that's that's how they were signing their name yeah uh and and, and then they had that, that it didn't they they had no they had they did not have the ability to know what they were voting for who they were voting for mm. you know and 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 obviously you know how these politicians they just lie through their teeth it's like second nature language yeah. to them yeah you know they can promise oh we're gonna make sure that you have jobs you get fed and all this just vote for me they probably and do that it's, oh, oh, and oh all oh. it is is for them to to keep the status quo which is what it is today what it was because you, you think about it is people listening i hope because this is deep that's what we was talking about, the resentment of the people, the factories that left and put their stuff overseas to get yeah. cheap labor. Yeah. And same then thing. Blame, same same thing. thing. And then blame it, blame it on anything, anything. other than the rich people who are doing it. So, <laughs> so this has been going on <laughs> since the beginning of time. This is this is straight up uh, biblical processes. Oh that yeah, has been going on. So yeah. you got to look at. Here you go. We we always go back here. Uh -huh. we go back to the garden. <laughs> you got a person who wants it all. Ooh. Who tells a lie. Ooh. Filled with truth. To make sure that the person being blamed is not the person who's trying to take over. Wow. And so as long as you keep the eye on somebody else who has nothing to do with the poverty or the situation or circumstance you're in, then they can do what they will. Now, the crazy thing is, it's all started with people who had no need of anything. And then from that point on, there was a need. Yeah. And then you have a person who says that they're going to provide the need? It really doesn't. They provide, they provide a lie yeah. Yeah. that fulfills the need that puts the resources in their pockets for first, and yeah. then everything else filters out. In the garden, Ooh. all the resources went to that demonic a, yeah. Yeah. figure. Yeah. And then everything filtered out. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's the that's the same process that we have today in today's society. Wow. You have people who who tell you what you want to hear. Mm. They get all the resources and then they filter everything out. These people it's like how rich do you need to be? You don't. But before they... you start sharing. Yeah the resources that you have. I mean, if you have, if you're a multi-billionaire, uh -huh. your finances are available for your children and your children's children. Mm. You know, three, four generations, you can have it set up that you won't, won't need to earn another dime. Yeah. But they don't care. No. Because no. they have to keep they have to keep the lie going right? because if they don't, then those resources that they have put up will be taken from them. <laughs> hey, hey, look, it is funny. They think about it when they talk about the American dream. You ever hear, you hear, the, hear the word American oh, yeah. dream? Yeah. And the American dream is really a poor or rich, meaning yeah. I I I I want to think about being rich. I remember the time when uh, the guy, the 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 plumber, talked to Obama 
and 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 I, we didn't know he was a plumber, right? Yeah. But he was basically saying we found a lady was a plumber. But he has Obama said, if I get rich, I'm gonna get taxed too. And you, and you, you hear the the, the the ironic piece of that question, yeah. right? It's you're not gonna get rich, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You 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 can't get rich. You, you're a plumber can't get rich unless they let him get rich. Exactly. You know, because unless... they'll keep they'll keep a person at a certain point. Yeah. Where they can exist with no they can exist. What's the word I'm looking for? They can be comfortable, comfortable. in their existence. Exactly. And not exactly. worry about anything. Yeah. But they won't be rich. Right. Don't be comfortable. That's the middle class. Yeah. The yeah. middle class is always made to where you will be comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. In your position. Yeah. So that you won't go after the rich. Come on. But you look down at the poor and be like, why can't they? Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. what's even worse is the middle class tries to take care of the poor mm. and the rich don't do nothing. It's like that today, like even like they that, said. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. it's even worse <laughs> because when there is hospitals closing, the rich don't care. Uh -uh. But it's the poor yeah. that go through all the extreme to make sure that hospital stays alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or barely struggles along. Right. If a school closes, the rich don't care, uh -uh. but it's the, the poor and the middle class that do everything they can to keep that school going. Right. When you have people who have billions <laughs> that don't even care and they keep sucking to the point to where the status quo has to stay the status quo. Mm. When they see the middle class starting to move, mm. then inflation comes, mm. and they get pushed right back down into their spot. And then these people who are poor get mm. pushed right back to where they were. Right. Nobody gets a chance to actually live this American dream. Mm. Yeah. Because you will never go from middle class to rich without being a part of this deceitful nation that is ruled by the God of this world. Well, you know, yeah, because it's interesting. And, and, and when you get in that position to yeah. be in a leadership position, like part of the government. Yeah, and they get rich. Yeah. Then you get rich beyond measure. Mm -hmm. When you start owning major companies, then you get rich beyond measure yeah. to the point to where it's all about you no matter how much resources you get pulled in. Mm. I mean, look at these people who were who were poor to mm -hmm. middle class. They get a business and you never hear about them doing. Look at Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This dude invents Facebook. Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't do it by himself. Uh-uh, uh-uh. But he gets to the point to where our government has to deal with him. Yeah. Yeah. Because now he's a part of of this group who is the highest of the highs. Yeah. They can't control him. No. Because he, he came up outside of their control. Mm. Now they got to control him. Right. They got to do everything they can to control this dude. And then they put him in a position where his decisions influence policy. Policy, yeah. And so they got to control him so that their policies that he influenced keeps those who are policy controllers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in their position and everybody yeah. else in their position. He got money where he could just, he can make the middle class expand extra you know, just yeah. boom. A yeah. lot of poor people can become middle class just from him and a couple more by themselves. By What's himself. the other one? Uh, Twitter. Uh, Bill, Twitter. Bill Gates. Yeah, uh, oh, Bill uh, Gates, yeah. Uh, these people can change society 
in a way to where our government has to pay attention mm -hmm. to the people. They have to do what was written. Yeah. That the uh, that the voices of the people control those in leadership position. That's what these people can do, but mm. they don't because the people in leadership position threaten these folks to where they're they could be taxed beyond measure which is interesting yeah yeah to the point of them folding and doing what these people in these leadership positions do right. then they say well you can only help so much yeah you know <laughs> you can you can only do so much for these poor people and, and, and it's so bad that they, some of them want to. Yeah. To the point to where they go to other countries. Yeah. And help them. Yeah. 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 In ways that just makes major changes. And then you wonder why <laughs> they don't do that here. You wonder why Oprah Winfrey. Uh -huh won't open up i mean keep schools going in chicago when schools are closing all around her right but she'll go to africa and open a school interesting you know what i'm saying yeah so it's a control they they can't change they won't these folks won't allow them to change society mm. even if they wealthy because even wealth means power they're, they're, yeah yeah Mm. I'm not talking about being rich. We're mm. talking about wealthy. Wealthy. We're talking power. about people yeah. who write checks for the rich. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they like the basketball players get, get yeah. money. It's it. Yeah. yeah. Basketball players are rich, <laughs> but the people who own the basketball teams are wealthy. Yes, sir. So, Woo. crazy it's, thing is, this world system is this world system. It will never change. Yeah. Until. Our Savior, Yeshua, uh -huh. returns. Right. Then everything will be flipped back the way it's supposed to be, where that pyramid is where one supports uh -huh. the weight of everything. Everybody. Yeah. Not everybody supporting the weight of that one. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, it's funny to think of, like, when we talk about the book of Acts, when they first started, we are talking about people sold everything they had and then. Mm -hmm. It was oh, redistributed man. based on need. That that was squashed after that. You don't hear man, much about that. You don't hear about that. I, I, like I, I'll say it <laughs> until I run out of breath. You won't hear that message in church, <laughs> which blows my mind. Ain't so. Yeah. It blows yeah. my mind. It's it's been in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the. I mean, they'll preach from Genesis to Revelation and skip that one little part mm, mm, mm. of the gospel. Yes, sir. The beginning. The beginning. Where they was trying. Remember, the rich young man came running to Jesus. Hey, yeah. What must I do? <laughs> then heard eternal life. Sell and Jesus everything. said, okay, this is what you do, all right? You yeah. want you to sell everything you got. No, he <laughs> said, oh, I do all that. But, he <laughs> said, but there's one thing. <laughs> you lack. Hey, look, yeah. it was a lack, too, right? Uh, which was to sell everything you have and, and give, give to the poor. The poor. And that joker walked away. You saw how he he, yeah. he, he, he would tell you what a rich man think about that. Said, oh, this 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 philosophy ain't gonna work. That yeah. dog ain't hunting. And then the fact is, look at this. Check this out. In that story, people, I will bring it up next time. Is when Jesus said, "How hardly can a rich man enter into the kingdom yes. of God, a kingdom of heaven?" And 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 they said, "You remember that? Did you remember what we talk about it now?" They said. Well, who can be saved? Yeah. Think about that. The mentality is yeah. that they, they, wealth. They couldn't look past it. They couldn't, could they? They couldn't look past what he was trying to explain. He gave them a parable. <laughs> and, and, and it just blew their mind. Well, nobody could be saved. <laughs> That's what he said. He, he, look, he had a couple of say, with God, all things are possible. Yeah. That's the mentality. So what we're saying is that I could always try to, I say, nobody could just have that much visceral hate, that much hate without something other than. There's gotta be a source that's that's driving it. 
Yeah, because I was, you know, some of the pictures and some of the videos you've seen about some of the lynching and stuff, especially after the uh, slavery thing, because they, they weren't lynching as much during slavery time because those pro that was property. Yeah, that was money. They, they, it belonged they, to somebody else. You see what I'm saying? They would maim them to the point to where they could still be uh -huh, uh -huh. useful. As a, yeah, to that guy who's rich. Yeah. But they wouldn't. They, but they wouldn't name them beyond being usable. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, that is like taking a dollar. Come on. Ripping it in half. Yeah. And and just getting rid of. Yeah. One of those halves. Yeah. But now that dollar is useless. Come on now. That's what they want. A lot of that person get back to the to the picking it, the whatever it was. Uh, cotton and and other other products and commodities that was out there but yeah so these people what i'm saying early got this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah hallelujah to god be the glory for all the blessings he's done in our lives hallelujah praise the lord love you